Hi, this is Mrs. Lunsford and I am going to take you through a tutorial on how to draw um, one of the logs in the still life. Alright, this is the log that I'm referring to. So um, if this is what you're looking at or really any of um, the three in this area, um, hopefully that this um, will be helpful. Alright, I started with a, just a really light drawing of um, the main contours of the log. So um, essentially kind of the top the circumference um, and then some of the uh, major um, pieces of bark that I'm seeing um, that are traveling vertically on that um, piece of wood. I then start to gradually build up um, just the basic values. At this point, squinting can even help to figure out where those major lights and darks are going to go. I am not concerned about small detail at this point. I'm really just laying down those basic values. I'm still concerned about good technique um, and I'm still gradually building those values up so I don't go right for a black. I'm, I'm gradually building that dark value up. Now in that dark area in the middle, um, I'm using um, a 4B and a 6B pencil. Um, and honestly, I didn't use anything else. Um, I, I used a 2B and then um, for most of it and then a 4B and a 6B um, for just that really dark area. I never used an H pencil because you know how I feel about H pencils. So um, once I felt like I had um, a lot of my basic values down, then what I started to do is add some um, a, a secondary layer. So got my basics down and then what I do is I start to kind of look for any um, any major variations um, in the sections of wood. Still not doing little detail yet. And then I start to do that. Um, it's okay if you lose your spot. What's important is that you are really referencing the log, that you're really studying it, looking at it, um, because the more that you do study it, the more natural it will look, even if you lose your place, because I guarantee you, I don't have every detail correct, but it's going to end up looking um, like the log that, that I'm drawing because I'm, I'm referencing and I'm studying how all those textures look and, and feel and fall. All right. Um, just continuing with more of that, getting um, maybe some smaller details at this point. And then again, this is kind of what we're looking at. And um, just again, I'm really studying it, checking for any of those small areas of detail. Um, let's see. Yeah, just continue doing that. And now you can see I'm getting a little bit more specific with some of those um, vertical, um, those big notches. I'm starting to pay attention to that really big notch in the middle. Um, because it's not just one value. I mean, there's definitely lights and darks in that really big dark notch in, in the middle here. I start to pay attention now to the top, to the grow rings of the tree itself. Um, it's not just concentric circles. They are different values. They're different widths. They're different spaces. Um, they're all very individual. So it's important to even pay attention to details like that. Don't mindlessly just draw um, concentric circles on the top of the log where it was cut. Pay attention to even those details. Okay, um, now I'm getting into some really small details, so kind of those last little dimples that are in the tree. Um, and just, again, paying attention to, to where they fall. I'm probably missing quite a few of them, but as long as I'm getting some of them and I'm feeling like um, what I'm drawing on my paper is starting to resemble um, what I'm seeing in front of me, I'm feeling like I'm becoming successful. So it's not perfect, but um, I think it's going to be a close likeness. Um, continue with the top detail. I'm really checking the values on even the top sides, just really kind of squinting back and forth between what I'm drawing and what's on my paper. My last step, I'm going to take um, a stick or a pen eraser, if you will, and it's kind of a way that you can um, pull out or almost reverse drawing. I'm pulling out some of those lighter areas. And I'm, I'm lastly, I'm just trying to kind of go back in there and pull out any um, highlights or light areas or, um, or maybe any areas that I got too dark. And it's kind of a great way to kind of put some final texture in there. So um, I'm sure you'll do great. Uh, take it a step at a time. Study what you're drawing and gradually build up those layers. And I'm sure you'll do great. So happy drawing um, and uh, see you next time.